Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 2011, the game, and this is going to be another Race Now episode. In the last episode, we went to Dover International Raceway with Kevin Harvick's number 29, Jimmy John's Chevrolet, where we got our second win of this series. Now, that would have not happened if there weren't a freaking caution, because Greg Miffle kept on checking up in front of me off of turn two, but yeah, that's just how it played out. Otherwise, we would have gotten second, I'm pretty sure. That episode was requested by Evan McLeod, so shout out to him one more time. This episode was requested by Mr. Ocean CM3882, or something like that, and he requested that we go to Talladega Super Speedway with Delanar Jr.'s number 88 National Guard Chevrolet, the 2010 ver no, 2011 version. I don't even know my numbers. Okay, so we'll go to NASCAR drivers, and there it is. He also has the Amp Energy Chevrolet. Um... Now we gotta select the race loading screen. Here we are, Talladega Super Speedway. I actually just raced here a while ago to decide how many laps I want this race to be. I think I'm gonna go for 12 laps, um, depending on how many cautions are caused by absolute stupidity with the AI and, of course, me in general. We'll probably have this race cut in half to like six laps, and we'll just spend two laps under caution every single freaking time. But yeah, so it's like that. Just 12 laps. Okay. No setup stuff. I am very sick today. I am extremely sick. Of course, by the time this video comes out, I won't be sick anymore. I'm pretty sure of that. I've got sore throat, headache, all my bones hurt. It's crazy. I threw up this morning. I'm recording a video in which I threw up just like freaking six hours ago. There, there are my stats for Talladega. I can't even hear what the freaking crew chief is saying to me. But, um, yeah, apparently I'd already run a race at this track because that it said I'd run two races and have an average finish of 11. Alright, so I'm just gonna kind of wait until we come off of turn two to actually start passing people. Uh, underneath them? I can't get underneath him if there's no space down there and he's just gonna slow down in front of me. So now I'm three wide and I have no one to draft with. Okay, now we can get back behind this guy. You know what? I think I'm going to go to the outside as we go through turns 3 and 4 because usually they all go slowing down hitting the brakes in random places. Yeah, here we go, and I slammed the outside wall, but nonetheless we're getting a bunch of positions. This is ridiculous. This is how the AI race in this game. I hate it. Actually, if you're trying to work with people in every race in this track, I found out that they like to hit the brakes for no reason. That's not helpful. You can be trying to catch up to some other drivers and then they'll just hit the brakes in front of you, coming off a turn. Okay, I can't even see who these people are in front of me. Freaking shadow is taking over. They got the thing that tells me who the drivers are. I don't want to know who the drivers are. I just want to see their cars. How do you turn off this stupid thing with the names and the stuff? I keep tapping L3. I've figured out that it's L3, but I tap it and nothing happens. Go away. Go away. Wait, do I have to hold it down? I don't understand, man. This is stupid. Keep pressing L3, but nothing happens. This game is freaking annoying. Okay, we're gonna go through the middle right here. That would be Mark Martin, I guess. I'm stuck on the outside, and they've got a much faster run off turn four. I see Taco Bell behind me. I can't even read what's on the back of my car. I saw that it was like amp up the 88 or something a while ago whenever I was taking a few laps around this track. Yeah, there it is. This game's shadows and its lighting are just freaking horrible. It is so bad. Okay, now's where I need a caution because we're not going to get anywhere without a caution at this point because they're just splitting up apart in ways that don't make any sense. We're in 25th. We've got a bunch of cars up here in front of us. It's going to take some drafting to catch up to that second pack that's breaking away. Breaking? Breaking? Broken. Wow. I have nowhere to go right now. The steering is so freaking stiff and horrible. From my perspective, it is. Wow. Pack racing is so much better these days. I guess. I don't even think it was like this back then. I think it was a uh, two car tandem, but they don't even have that going very much in here, do they? I don't know how on earth they would have ever gotten two car tandem to work in a freaking video game. Are there, are there any video games where. They have a bunch of that stuff going on. Well, I'm trying to get underneath you because you're driving slow as shit at a freaking super speedway, and then you just act like I don't exist. 
You know, I look at that 13 car and it reminds, reminds me so much of the truck series. Um, 13 truck in that game, NASCAR E2. I don't realize the similarities until I see this car in this game. So we're in 21st. We were almost in 20th. That guy didn't like being polite at all. The leaders are so far away. Jeff Gordon is in the lead right now. I don't even know if anybody's with him. trying to stay in the trap and move forward. We're not really moving forward at all. This this is shitty racing at its best. I mean, there's no caution, so I say at its best. If there were cautions, it would be at its worst. Of course, I guess that would be better because cautions would get us put back together and we'd actually be able to do things. See, they were going single file for the longest time and all of a sudden they just went into side-by-side um, -side racing and I get to pass everybody. I don't know. So now we're in 17th, trying to get to 16th from Greg Biffle. We're almost halfway there, but we will be in a couple laps. Trying to get our knee Biffle. This car sucks at, at steering. It's freaking Talladega and my car cannot turn. I mean, first it can turn, then it can't do a damn thing. It's, it's just back and forth. The car can't decide how well it, it can turn. Is, I'm just getting people flying right past me with single file racing. Because, you know, you can't pass. Passing is not much of a thing here unless they break into groups of two. So now, now, now I see kind of the two car tan thing going on. Of course, they keep breaking apart and that's how I get by them. We're not getting anywhere right now. This is not at all like the racing that I had earlier when I was racing here. This is like completely different. This is weird. Can, can we have some racing? See, they, they they got into a group of two and then they, they started slowing down. Why did they hit the brakes? Okay, I'm going to get on this guy's bumper. Hopefully in the process when we're trying to catch up to everybody, I wreck them because that would make the racing much better. No, Kirk Bush, go away. Where's that Keselowski? I have no clue. Keselowski's in the 12th car. Okay. Forgot. I was working with this guy, and then he, he, he left me. Okay. On his bumper. I'm going to stay on his bumper. He's hitting the brakes. I don't know why he's hitting the brakes. I am turning all the way to the left. Golly. These freaking cars. If you're going 190 miles an hour at Talladega, why on earth would you have to hit the brakes? And why would it make your car so tight? Your car would not get tight at 190 miles per hour at Talladega. That would be like the worst tires in history. See if I can get a top 10 in this race. I think that's possible. So shoot to the outside. They're side by side underneath. We're going to pass both of them. Now we've got three of us. Okay, I have to pass three more cars to get a top 10. We've definitely got the time to do that. I don't know why that guy went up the track. Okay, so next pass is for 11th on Kyle Bush. We're going really fast, I'm trying to hold my line, but this game steering is too touchy. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. Okay, past. Thank you. I mean, never mind. Not thank you. I don't what, what the hell are you doing? He doesn't want to pass the guy. He wants to sit behind the guy and leave me behind because Kyle Bush apparently hates Dale and Jr. This is weird. I think we get those spots from those guys up in front of us as well. So the most that we can get is not a top five, but probably like eighth place or something. I'm not sure exactly how many positions we can get from this. Wow, okay, he's slowing down the front stretch. I would like to pass, but from what I've seen early on this race, you can't pass somebody because then they just fly right back around you. So kind of like, let's just stick behind somebody, and we'll slingshot past them on the last lap and leave it at that. I'm trying to stay behind them, but it's hard to turn the car the way I want to. Don't go up the track. Don't. Fine. Screw you, Kyle Busch. I don't know. He, he, he tried going with them. That wasn't going to work. They were going way much slower. So now I'm working with Juan Pablo Montoya to clear all three of these guys. Montoya is hitting the brakes. I can feel it. My freaking controller. Kyle Busch, go away. Montoya won't stop hitting the brakes, so I give up on you. No, screw off Montoya. 
I got cobblers behind me. Okay. I'm trying to stay in their draft. So we're in the top ten, that's good. Yeah, the most that we can get is seventh. We've got three laps to go. We have not had any caution in this race. If there was a caution in this race, hopefully caused by me, then we would definitely have a chance at winning. Otherwise, no. Ah, going up. What? Look at they hitting the brakes as we come off turn two. Why? You should not have to hit the brakes at all at Talladega. You have the gas, so you don't rear in somebody, but never hit the brakes. And they were, they were fine. They weren't in any situation where they have to let off the gas, even that. So we're in seventh now. It's not possible to get any other position, so we're just going to block these guys behind us as best as we can. With uh, a little more than two laps to go. And I'm trying to block, but the car is too tight, so now I have to get back on the track. The car is not letting me. Quit telling me the freaking speed. The pit road speed. No, get this crap off my screen. Thank you. And Kyle Busch is slowing down the front stretch. That's just ridiculous, man. I'm turning this car all the way to the freaking left, and it has no agility. It's just stuck in one lane. It's freaking Talladega. You, you're not able to make as many decisions as you would in any actual race car to block a lane. Because it takes forever just to change lanes. So by the time that you decide to get down there, you just cut them off and wreck yourself. Now I'm trying to get past Jimmy Johnson who was going to win the last race that we did in this series. Okay. I guess I didn't enter the corner all the way down low as he wanted me to. Jeff Gordon's just past the freaking start-finish line. That's how far away he is. Ah. Uh, oh my god. This is like one of the worst Talladega experiences I've ever gotten in any NASCAR game. I'm not sure if NASCAR the game inside line is worse or not. The NASCAR 15 and NASCAR 14 have bad Talladega experiences, but at least those are pack racing. This is this is two car tandem nonsense. And it doesn't even make any sense. They keep hitting the brakes coming off the turns. I don't think they do that in NASCAR the game inside line. There's a lot of things that the AI do in this game that they don't do in NASCAR the game inside line. No. You guys stay behind me. I finish in seventh place. I find this a bit ironic because in the race that I did um, before I started recording this video, I finished in seventh. Even though we had like freaking four cautions and someone's underneath me, that is Montoya. I'm trying to side draft him, but the car is too hard to turn. Uh, it's like I want the car to turn so much, so I'm like, turn it more. I turn it a little bit more, the whole freaking thing just jabs down into somebody. Okay, so we're going to get seventh place here at Talladega Super Speedway. This episode sucked. I don't like racing at super speedways in this game. I think Daytona's a little bit better, but golly, this is... That's just... That was trash. So Jeff Gordon won, led every single lap in that race. Um, Jeff Burton finished in second. Tony Stewart got the fastest lap in the race, and he finished in third. I don't know how far away all these six guys that finished in front of us were. I don't know exactly where they were on the track, but uh, you could probably judge it by their intervals. Jamie McMurray, Kevin Harvick... Um, Martin Drex Jr., Jimmy Johnson, Carl Edwards, Juan Pablo Montoya, the rest of the drivers in the top ten. I can't even read this crap writing stuff because my brain is so screwed up right now. I don't even know if it's been noticeable that I'm stuffed up. Like, I'm not exactly stuffed up, but my voice doesn't sound the same way it usually does. So that is all the results. Thanks for watching this episode of the NASCAR 2011 The Game Race Now series. If you have not requested an episode and had it actually become an episode yet, just leave your request down in the comment section below with a, a driver and a track that we haven't raced with or a race at yet, and if it's the very first one, then it'll be the next episode whenever that comes out in a couple weeks. Hopefully it's not Daytona, because I think I've had enough Super Speedway stupidity for now. I mean, it's two freaking weeks, but yeah, I think I need at least a month away from that kind of crap. So, see you next time, that's that, and episode over.